Uh, I have a question uh, for Jeremy. My name is Boris Vizhangurazov. I'm uh, from Kazina Capital Management, uh, part of uh, Sovereign Wealth Fund of Kazakhstan. Uh, what would be your view on uh, nuclear energy, given that uh, it's a non-carbon, uh, and there are new technologies that uh, can uh, basically be very, very safe, I mean, to some extent, and uh, can be quite uh, efficient in terms of, uh, you know, uh, getting energy from uranium? I don't spend much time on nuclear technology unless someone asks me about it, because frankly, I, I think from a business perspective, it, it's over. I think it's over. Let me explain why. Uh, there may be a lot of ideological issues, but from a business perspective, here's the situation. Nuclear power was, was pretty well dead in the water in the 1980s after Three Mile Island and Chernobyl. It had a comeback. The comeback was the industry said, we are part of the solution for climate change because we don't emit CO2 with nuclear. It's polluting, but there's no CO2. Uh, here's the issue, though. Our, all of our uh, scientific pr projections are interesting on this. Nuclear power right now is 6% of the energy of the world. There are only 400 nuclear power plants. They rely on 6% of the energy of the world. And these are old nuclear power plants. But our scientists tell us to have a minimum impact on climate change, which is the whole rationale for bringing this technology back. Nuclear would have to be 20% of the energy mix to have the minimum, minimum impact on climate change, not 6% of the mix. That means we'd have to replace the existing 400 nuclear plants and build 1,600 additional plants. Three nuclear plants have to be built every 30 days for 40 years to get to 20%. And by that time, climate change will have run its course for us. So I think uh, from a business point of view, I just don't see that investment. I'd be surprised if we replace 100 of the 400 existing plants, which would take us down to 1 or 2% of the energy. Number two. We still don't know how to recycle the nuclear waste, and we're 70 years in. Now, we have good engineers in the U.S. We spent 18 years and $8 billion building an underground vault in Yucca Mountain to store the waste for 10,000 years. We can't use it. We can't even store them. It's already no good because there are cracks in the mountain. But any geologist could have told them, we live on tectonic plates. You can't keep underground vaults secure. Uh, number three, the, we run into uranium deficits, according to the International Atomic Energy Commission, you may know this, between 2025 and 2035, with just the existing 400 plants. So that means the price goes up. Number four, we could do what the French generation of new plants are doing, and we cycle the uranium to plutonium. But then we have plutonium all over the world in an age of uncertainty and, and, and terrorism. And then uh, finally, and this is the big one, uh, that people don't realize, uh, we don't have the water. Over 40% of all the fresh water consumed in France each year goes to cooling the nuclear reactors. It's almost 50% now. When it comes back, it's heated and it's dehydrating our agricultural and ecosystems and it's threatening our agriculture. So we don't have the water. And this is true all over the world. We have saltwater nuclear plants, but then you have to put them on coastal regions and you risk a Fukushima because of tsunamis and ocean currents. And uh, I would say the last thing on this is that nuclear power is centralized power. We'll talk about this tonight, like okay. fossil fuels. It doesn't fit a new generation that's moving uh, with the kind of technologies that are distributed, collaborative, and laterally scaled. It's an old technology. So it's no accident Siemens is out, Germany is out, Italy is out, Japan is now out. And I think uh, with President Hollande's election, I met with him in the spring, they're moving toward a third industrial revolution model in France. I, I think I'd be surprised if nuclear has much of a life left. I okay. don't think it's a good business deal. I agree with you.